Hey, what up y'all? Mama Bear here. Uh, out on an adventure today. Um, just having some time to myself. Uh, we all have a place where we can be alone and have our love language fulfilled. So if y'all know me, you know I'm at my love language spot. Hey, but uh, if you um, are out there today and you need a fulfillment, you need a, a expression of God, you need a raindrop to cause a ripple in your life. I think that's what this video is about today because on the way here I just spent some time with God and three different songs came on and they stirred so many emotions in me and brought clarity, peace, and healing and so I wanted to share that. Um, Many of you don't know, but I am the product of a one night stand. I am an oops. I am a um, unplanned, unwanted um, pregnancy. And I was raised by a single mom until I was five. And that is when um, I had a stepdad enter my orbit. And he um, brought nothing but abuse and pain and suffering. Uh, he was the hero of the day or the asshole of the year and there was no in between for 31 years. Um, the man that was my father, bless his heart, he is in my life now. He is a very good man um, and he does do right by me today. So uh, bless his heart, bless his path. Uh, I hold no animosity against anyone in my past. I have made peace. And um, I know that everyone had a divine placement and purpose for my growth and healing and I to theirs. So that being said, um, my mom was older, my dad was younger, so you can imagine the terrible things that they um, came after my mom for with pitch, uh, pitchforks and um, torches. Um, to burn her at the stake for um, this one night stand but in my path um, before I entered this world um, my family had known a lot of darkness um, a lot of pain um, we have stories of rape we have stories of murder we have um, um, just all sorts of, of suffering and so when I came into the orbit, um, I know that I, like Izzy, came here for a purpose and it wasn't until um, today when I was spending time with God that it made sense to me, like, my whole life, my hushed soul whispers, the, the secret place that nobody else can go, me and God only. Um, I was hoping for a Superman. I was hoping for a, a, a king on a, a horse, a white horse. We had a money was our horse as a child and he was the coolest horse ever. And so I always pictured um, my, my Superman, if you will, um, misplacement. I thought that was my father, but um, today I realized that the Superman I'd been waiting for my whole entire life um, someone to truly take a chance on unconditional love with me because like I said my my family um, for the longest time did not understand that I watched um, the siblings um, fight each other I um, was told by my grandma on her deathbed that I was an unworthy um, grandchild so like we have a lot of um, people that don't understand unconditional love uh, surrounding me most of my most of my life and that's where this song hit me today because I tried my best to love everyone around me unconditionally my stepfather came with two children um, a girl and a boy a sissy and um, a brother and all they ever wanted was to love them to give them unconditional love because um, in their path they had two parents who never showed them unconditional love and still to this day does not. Um, and to be honest, they're selfish, um, self-labeled assholes, both of them. And so um, 
the two children didn't stand a chance and I could see that even as a small child and I did everything in my power to be there for them. Um, my sissy, if you will, became a, a, a teen pregnancy story, pregnant at 16. Uh, she had three by the age of 21 and now that I'm a mom with Izzy, I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine. But while I was there in it with her, I did the best that I could to bring her relief in her path because there's no way that anyone at the age of 16, at the age of 21, should have three little ones by themselves. And she was doing it. And so in her struggles of... Um, addiction and the challenges of her parents and the lifestyle that she chose um, I I felt like um, I was the best sissy that I could have been I um, she would call me when one of them would be injured and I'd be there in five minutes and have them at the ER in ten uh, she would call me um, to tell me hey I'm going into labor and I would jump in the car and um, after I have everybody on standby knowing as soon as she calls me, I'm leaving. My work knows, my house is taken care of, my animals are covered. I went out of way, the way to rearrange my whole life for this call. And she calls me and says, come, I'm in labor. And I drive six hours to the bottom of Ohio um, to see the third one be born. And I get lost and end up in Kentucky and I'm on the phone with the operator from the hospital panicking because I'm trying to get there. And when I get there, my brother, uh, stepbrother, um, meets me in the parking lot and we run through the, ho the hospital, jump in the elevator, fly into the, the um, maternity ward, and I burst into the door just as the baby has been delivered. So hey, um, I was that sister. I gave blood, sweat, and tears to be the best sister that I could be um, because I saw what she was going through on the other side of things and I just wanted someone to show her unconditional love and I ended up being her, um, she was the cat and I was the mouse toy. And I'm just sick of playing those games. So <clears throat> um, I've been doing a lot of healing and thinking about that and praying. And um, my brother, um, he is not my brother. He is nobody that I even know or care to ever see again. Bless his heart. He has the most beautiful children and I am in their lives and I love them unconditionally and to the end because they are beautiful kids. Thank goodness they don't take after him. But he, um, has completely um, burned the bridge with me in every way possible, in every shape, every form you could ever imagine. Um, I am only alive today because of the grace of God, and I just don't need that drama in my life. Like I said, we have um, a murder in our history path, and I am not willing to be a victim. So, I... Moving on today, realized that God brought me Brian and we took a chance on love. And every day we choose to take a chance on love and we trust unconditionally and we are there to be each other's helpmates and soulmates and twin flames and partners in crime does not matter what it is we are there side by side now we don't believe in um, doing criminal activities but we understand that we are all only three seconds away so if uh, we get caught in a case we're both going down because that's how we love so anyways um, Brian came and brought me unconditional love and showed me the beauty within myself. He reflected the true person that I always knew I was supposed to be. And everybody in my path, it does not matter if you are a pastor, if you are a recovery um, expert for doing it for 20 years, if you get paid 70 grand a year to do nothing and get a company car paid for, yeah, like entitlement, no. But, um, if you are in this path, 
and you're doing the best you can to learn and grow and you have dreams and you have aspirations that are in your hushed soul don't give up on them don't lose sight of them because when Brian came into my orbit my whole world changed <clears throat> All of a sudden, I stopped allowing people to disrespect me. All of a sudden, boundaries were going into place deeper and harder and stronger. All of a sudden, Sarah is my name. And Sarah means princess in the Holy Bible, in the Bible, in the Holy Words. And I always have been the princess of my own kingdom. I want it my way every time because if I ran the world, that's how it would be. And so... What, the world doesn't revolve around me? Hey, well, I'm a Leo, what do you do? I'm as bright as the sun, and I'm here to send unconditional love like a mama. And so sometimes I laugh about how mama be trying to shove a booby in your mouth like, time to eat, and you're just like, dude, I just woke up, give me a minute, all right? And so <laughs> sometimes my love might be intense, <laughs> but sometimes we need intense love. Sometimes we are so far hurt and in pain and struggling that we need someone to punch us in the face with a love bat metaphorically to remind us that we are worthy children of God that we are holy and it doesn't matter the darkness that we've had to walk through or we had to overcome it doesn't matter who's cut us who's lied to us who's cheated on us who's hurt us it doesn't matter who's crossed our paths because we know that God is on our side so nothing will ever stand against us anything that is wrongdoing against us will be reflected in itself and as long as we stand true to who we are, it's like Eminem said, that's the third song I heard, don't let them tell you you're not beautiful. Cupcake dance to that shit. I know I'm mama bear and I love God with all my might, but cupcake dance. Sometimes shit sucks. <clears throat> Sometimes life is unfair. Sometimes you get knocked on your ass because you slip on a pat of butter while you running in some slides and that shit knocks you on your ass and that shoe falls on your head yes true story happened to me I ain't scared shit happens but that's what makes life fucking laugh about later funny like that shit was hilarious can you imagine a fucking sh slipping on butter falling on my ass and the shoe landing directly on my head only only Sarah can do that like and for my next trick what the fuck <laughs> I'm so ridiculous but the middle song um, that came on was, uh, so it was Superman by Chris Daltrey. <sighs> Eminem's um, beautiful and all of a sudden I don't remember the middle song. But the whole point of this is that you get to be a true reflection of who you are. You get to choose to not go against your hush soul purpose, your, your hush soul whispers. You get to invite Superman into your world, into your orbit, to have a vision so holy. I can remember the day when they told me I would never have a baby. I can remember the crushing soul moment when they took that away from me. I can tell you about the years of depression. I can tell you about how I didn't leave my house for a year, close to a year, um, because I couldn't go out into the world, into public. I couldn't handle it. I was too sensitive. But I'm a fucking warrior, and there is nothing I can't overcome because I've got on my side, and so do you. I have a baby. I have the man of my dreams, my Superman is real. I have achieved the moment I've always wanted. I literally live my dreams every single day, every single second, every single moment. I am filled and radiate with joy. I have peace in my life in the middle of a pandemic. I have hope for tomorrow as small as a mustard seed. And that's mine, you can't take it from me. I won't give it to you, I can't let it go. That's the only thing keeping me going. So if you're a bastard child like me, if you woke up one day and found yourself in the middle of darkness, 
if everyone is out to get you, the ones who are supposed to love you unconditionally and the most, uncles who walk away, dads who don't give a shit, or dads that, you know, are just young and don't know better. Every single day we get to choose to restart our relationships, to try again, to have them for ourselves. If you want a certain kind of relationship with somebody, then you gotta be that relationship to them. It's not gonna happen unless you put effort in. And at some point, people just get over your bullshit and your drama and don't wanna be part of it. Cause you can make fun of someone for a while, ha ha ha. But if all of a sudden that person ain't laughing anymore, then it's gotta be the end of it. It's gotta be done, it's gotta be over with because the person that would do anything for you, that would love you endlessly for eternity, can only handle so much of your bullshit before they cupcake dance you. If you want a friend, then learn what the definition of a friend is. Love someone unconditionally with no motives behind it, no expectations near it. Love them for who they are and help them to be who God wants them to become, not who you see them as. I've been in the holiest of places, like I said, churches that serve God and feel like I walk through a battle zone and never knew when a grenade was gonna go off. I was told that I had to be Jesus if I was among them. I had to be in the same arena because I wasn't playing the same way. But I've been through the darkness, so it is very easy for me to see the dark and the light. And if I know something isn't completely of light, I can't sit, sit still with that. I can't be part of that. I can't be in a world where you're pretending and playing a game, like you're standing on a stage acting. <laughs> I can't be part of a program that brings cat shit on the stage in the audience is saying, wow, this is gonna be a real shit show. <laughs> because I'm already part of a real shit show and let me tell you, your version is not okay. It's tough out here. People struggling to eat, people struggling to live, people struggling to smile, suicides. murders it's not stopping this pain is not stopping and if you, you keep spreading it it's not gonna stop we have to do it one by one person by person choice by choice we have to choose to live our best lives because we're worth it I've sat across from the deadliest person I have ever met I have sat across from people who have life sentences in prison I'm not bragging. I've sat side by side with those who have brought pain and suffering to degrees you can't even fathom. And it all comes back to the same place. They need unconditional love. They need someone to encourage them and inspire them to be their best selves. Stop being self-labeled assholes. Stop being dicks and start spreading unconditional love one choice at a time, one decision at a time. And before you know it, you'll be someone's Superman. And you'll be telling them, I'm beautiful, you can't tell me nothing. I believe in you. Mama Bear loves. We are love alive, yo. Bracelet bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. One of these was made and given to me. One of these was found. One of these was a gift from the very pers first person I ever walked with as a sponsor. And the other one is stolen. 
Which one? Does it matter? Does it, who do you care? Who cares, right? Stolen, lost, broken, hurting, all unconditionally are loved. Stop judging yourself. Stop kicking your ass so hard. It's okay to pat yourself on the back too. It's okay to say, hey, you're doing a great job. You might be stuck in a rut today, but yesterday you killed it. Tomorrow you got a good chance of doing it too. Surrender and trust. Hang on to your mustard seed of faith and the light will come. Tupac said it best, if you can make it through the night, then there's a brighter day. Come on. It's like this, real G is called KB, all right? Say you won't. Because if you're thinking about catching the case, I'm thinking about punching you in the face with the love bat metaphorically and showing you that you're worth fighting for so that you don't bring pain and suffering, but you can only see how you deserve more. Mama Bear loves so much because that's how God made me. That's what he calls me to do. And I will love you that way too. I will give you the tenderest, most gentle, toughest love you've ever had. I can turn it on hot, I can turn it on cold. I am faithful and loyal to King Daddy B. He is the one who guides and leads me. He has been my Superman that filled my heart and satisfied my soul. He loves me on every level, spiritually, physically, emotionally and mentally he should teach a class so other men can learn how to love this well he gave me the holiest prize two beautiful girls because I wanted more and I fought really hard for myself through every asshole that chose not to love me who walked away from me after they tried to destroy me who burnt the bridge with gasoline while they were standing on it. And I weeped and I cried for them. I wish that they could see that I loved them unconditionally, even in their most asshole moments. Blessings be is all we can say. Blessings be. All right, I'm going to my happy place. I love you all. You have a beautiful day because you are loved. You are holy. You are incredible. Don't let them tell you you ain't beautiful.